The following video provides detailed instructions for the installation and alignment of the 2100-596 dual gating transducer assembly. The following tools will be required. A 916th inch socket, an 1116th inch socket, a 1 and 116th inch socket, a socket drive wrench, and a torque wrench. The transducer assembly should be mounted in the crib adjacent to the bearing scanner in the direction of scan. Begin by removing the adjustable track clamps from the bracket assembly. Mount the bracket assembly on the rail so that the slots in the clamps firmly engage the flanges on the rail foot. Slide the adjustable clamps onto the clamp bolts and onto the rail foot flange. Loosely secure the clamps with the lock washers and nuts. For optimum performance, the gating transducers must be precisely positioned in relation to the bearing scanner. Slide the transducer bracket horizontally as necessary to achieve the correct DIM1 dimension for your rail size. DIM1 is the distance from the far edge of the track clamp of the bearing scanner to the near edge of the transducer bracket. When DIM1 dimension is correct, tighten the clamp nuts to 35 foot-pounds. If not already installed, mount both transducers. Torque the hex nuts to 15 foot-pounds. Remove external retaining rings and lock nut plates from the adjustment bracket. Loosen the four flange nuts at least two full turns. Measure the rail profile dimension as depicted to determine if horizontal alignment adjustments are needed. If the measured distance is greater than one and one half inches, add a spacer for every one eighth inch over. Do not exceed three spacers per side. Next, adjust the vertical alignment for each transducer. Place a scanner alignment fixture above one of the transducers. Rotate the backplate adjustment screw until the transducer body just contacts the height gauge bracket. Tighten the flange nut closest to the transducer. Move the alignment fixture to the second transducer and repeat the vertical adjustment procedure. Recheck the height of both transducers, then tighten all flange nuts to 25 foot-pounds. Replace the nut lock plates over the flange nuts and install the lock rings. Route the transducer cables into the system bungalow and terminate to the surge panel. The southmost or westmost transducer connects to the TO1 input. The northmost or eastmost transducer connects to the TO2 input. The installation and alignment of the 2100-596 dual gating transducer assembly is now complete. For more information, contact Southern Technologies Corporation at 423-892-3029 or visit us on the web at www.southern-tech.com.